your breath for as long as possible and then exhale consciously and during this process make sure your entire physical body is relaxed and mind is not wandering anywhere mind should focus only on the breath and when you focus only on the breath your mind will get quietened automatically so do this a few times you will experience quietitude of the mind very quickly Now, with a quietened mind, <clears throat> with a basic understanding of the Supreme Truth, which is Brahman, Panishad Mantras, give a clear message that one should do Vasana, Nijidhyasanam on the Brahmatvam with a quietened mind. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma, Tat Jala Nidhi Shanta Upasita. So, with a quietened mind, Shanta Upasita, do Nijidhyasanam, as what? On the Brahmatatvam, on Brahman, as Idam Sarvam Khalu, everything around us, verily in reality, only absolute reality is Brahman, which is beyond the comprehension of the sense organs, Ashabdam Asparsham Arupa Mavyayam. And <coughs> From this absolute reality arises the relatively real, seemingly real. It has no reality of its own, which is the universe. The universe, the physical body, mind, sense organs, intellect, thoughts, emotions, everything, all are only seemingly real. They have no absolute reality because the existence itself of the entire universe is acquired from Brahman. So, Brahman is called as Tajjalam, that principle from which creation, sustenance, dissolution happens. And so, what is the 
message the same brahman which is the nature of your consciousness is also your own true nature available very much nearer than the nearest principle of yours you don't need to go searching for this anywhere so the same upanishad mantras point out this supreme reality which is now called as atman cause related to the individual to identify that principle pure consciousness through which all the cognitions happen within your <coughs> system so whatever cognition of the mind through all the sense organs everything happens only because of the presence of pure consciousness which is reflected through the mind within your entire physical body so the mantra says pratibodh viditam matam amritatvam hi vindate atmana vindate viryam vidyaya vindate amritam bodham bodham pratibodham continuous cognition that is happening within the physical body through the mind it is possible only because of the presence of consciousness so when you are cognizing something you should understand the principle behind that important principle which is the consciousness principle which is actually the same as brahman jeevo brahmaiva na paraha atman and brahman are not different from each other and once you understand what you should do bodham bodham pratibodham pratibodha viditam matam viditam understand this very clearly this established truth of the upanishads that that is your true nature everything else is only seemingly real problem is we attach ourselves to all that is happening around us including our thoughts and emotions and go through the variations in the state of mind whereas our true nature is pure consciousness pure bliss pure existence that atman viditam study the vedanta shastra systematically understand aham brahmas me i am the supreme principle my true nature is that so pratibodha viditam matam amrutatvam hi vindate what does this knowledge understanding internalization realization what is that it will lead to lead to amrutatvam immortality amrutatvam hi vindate verily it will bestow immortality so knowledge of supreme reality bestows immortality and supreme bliss and atmana vindate viryam by this atma gyanam a tremendous mental fortitude capability to it stand any pressures any challenges in life so the focus should be constantly directed towards acquiring this atma gyanam atmana vindate viryam vidyaya vindate amritam again emphasizing this internalization transformation today we are all owning up to the physical body sense organs mind thoughts emotions relationships everything else positions possessions you are owning up to all those things you have to own up to the only true absolute reality which is your true nature atman pure consciousness so automatically everything is only seemingly real and you become a witness of everything happening around you including what happens within your mind that is the ultimate goal so atmana vindate viryam vidyaya vindate amritam this knowledge of reality this to immortality so this is not going to happen overnight one has to dedicatedly study the vedanta shastra systematically in a traditional teacher so we'll understand now how bhagavan is leading us to that absolute knowledge through the bhagavad gita shri guru bhyo namaha hari om वक्रतुंडव आकाय सूर्यकोटिश प्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवर्वदा गुरुर्ब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुर साक्षात परम्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम निधेद्यादे भवरोगिणा गुरव सर्वोकाण दक्षिणा मूर्त नम 
ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೋ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿಣೆ ವ್ಯೋಮಪ್ತ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮ ಅಪಾರಕರುಣ ಸಿಂಧು ಜ್ಞಾನದ ಶಾಂತರೂಪಿಣ ಶ್ರೀಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುದಾನ್ಮಹಂ ಓಂ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಶಾಂಟ್ ಎಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ಟಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮರಾಸ್ ಎಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾವರುಣೇಂದ್ರ ರುದ್ರಮರುತ ಸ್ತುನ್ಮಂತಿ ನಿಮ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ವೇದೈ ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈರ್ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಎಂ ಸಾಮಗಾಹ ಧ್ಯಾನಾವಸ್ಥಿತ ತದ್ಗತೆ ನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಎಂ ಯೋಗಿನ ಯಾಂತಂ ನ ವಿದುಸ್ಸುರಾಸುರಗಣಾ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ತೇಷಾಮೇವಾಕಂಪಾಥ ಅಹಮಜ್ಞಾನಜಂ ತಮಃ ನಾಶಯಾಮ್ಯಾತ್ಮಸ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನದೀಪೇನ ಭಾಸ್ವತ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷಾಮಿ ತ್ಯೋತಿ ತಮಸ ಪರಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜ್ಞೇಹ ಜ್ಞಾನಗಮ್ಯ ಹೃದಯ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯವಿಷ್ಠಿ ನ ಹಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸದೃಶ ಪವಿತ್ರಮಿಹ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ತತ್ಸ್ವಯಂ ಯೋಗ ಸಂಸಿದ್ಧ ಕಾಲೇನಾತ್ಮನಿ ವಿಂದತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತು ತದ್ಞಾನ ಶಿತಮಾತ್ಮನಾದಿತ್ಯವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಯತಿ ತತ್ಪರಂ ಯಥೈಧಾಂಸಿ ಸಮಿಧೋಗ್ನಿ ಭಸ್ಮ ಸಾತ್ಕುರು ತೇರ್ಜುನ ಜ್ಞಾನಕರ್ಮಿ ಭಸ್ಮ ಸಾತ್ಕುರು ತೇ ತೇ ಸಂಭ ಕಾಮ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪವರ್ಜಿತ ಜ್ಞಾನಗ್ನಿದಗ್ಧಕರ್ಮಾಣ ಸಾಹು ಪಂಡಿತ ಬುಧ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಚಾಂಡಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅನ್ನೆಸರಿ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನುವಾಚ ದೈವೀ ಹೇಷಾ ಗುಣಮಯೀ ಮಮ ಮಾಯಾ ದುರತ್ಯಯ ಮಾಮೇ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯಂತೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೇ ತಾಂ ತರಂತಿ ಅನನ್ಯಾಶ್ಚಿಂತಯಂತೋ ಮಾಂ ಏ ಜನ ಪರ್ಯುಪಾಸತೆ ತಾಂ ನಿತ್ಯಭಿಯುಕ್ತ ಯೋಗಕ್ಷೇಮ ಮಹಾಮ್ಯಹಂ ಮತ್ತ ಪರತರ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ ಕಿಂಚಿದಸ್ತಿ ಧನಂಜಯ ಮಯಿ ಸರ್ವಿದ ಪ್ರೋತ ಸೂತ್ರೇ ಮಣಿಗಣಾಯಿವ ಈಶ್ವರಸ್ಸೂತ ಹೃದೇಶೇರ್ಜುನ ತಿಷ್ಠತಿ ಭ್ರಾಮಯನ್ ಸರ್ವೂತ ಯಂತ್ರಾರೂಢಿ ಮಾಯ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರೊಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಎಂಟರ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಫರ್ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಪ್ರಪಂಚೋ ಯದಿ ವಿದ್ಯೇತ ನಿವರ್ತೇತ ನ ಸಂಶಯ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾತ್ರ ದ್ವೈತ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಅಥ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾದಶೋಧ್ಯಾ ವಿಶ್ವದರ್ಶನ ಯೋಗ ಓಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಅಂಡಮ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ಮಿ ಮೇ ಲೋಕ ಸಪ್ತದ್ವೀಪಾ ಚೇದಿ ಓ 
that's all chant shloka 38 which we learned in the last class very important shloka which is able to connect all aspects of the ishvara tattvam arjuna uvacha tvamadi deva purusha purana tvamasya vishvasya param nidhanam veta si vedyam cha parancha dhama tvayatatam vishvamananta roopa om shanti 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 hi hardam swagatam hearty welcome to the next session on the 11th chapter of the bhagavad gita which is called as vishvarupa darshana yoga ha and this vishvarupam is what is mentioned by arjuna here as vishvamananta roopam so vishvarupam is it there or not in this in vishvamananta roopa is vishvarupa there or not sometimes you say don't think in the, in the word is god vishvamananta roopa we are not able to recognize that vishvarupa is there in this that's why this shloka is important vishvamananta roopa ananta vishvam so here the <coughs> qualification of ananta na antam that means what endless ananta roopa so it's ananta roopa mm-hmm. now <coughs> continuing shloka number 39 so here the greatness of bhagavan as adi devaha here is adi devaha tamadi devaha that is being further elaborated in this shloka number 39 <clears throat> अर्जुन उवाच वायुर्यमोग्निर्वरुण शशाक प्रजापति प्रताम्च नमो नमस्ते सहस्रकृत्न भूयोपी नमो नमस्ते ओम शांति 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 हा हा अर्जुन उवाच वायुर्यमोग्निर्वरुण शशाक प्रजापति प्रताम्च नमो नमस्ते सहस्रकृत्न भूयोपी नमो नमस्ते वेरी गुड ऑफिस टुगेदर अर्जुन अर्जुन उवाच वायुर्यमोग्निर्वरुण शशाक प्रजापति प्रताम्च नमो नमस्ते सहस्रकृत्न भूयोपी नमो नमस्ते ओं शांति 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 हियर इन दिस पोर्शन where arjuna's state of mind when you look at the vishwarupam has undergone three different states first is that of wonder vismayaha second is that of bhayam fear second after that third is one of devotion so finally when he understands very clearly now that bhagwan is the ultimate supreme principle from which everything emerges and is the controller of every entity including all the gods is his mind is completely engulfed with devotion to bhagwan and in the state of devotion he is able to <clears throat> call out all the different names of bhagwan both saguna brahman and nirguna brahman so if you look at anal- analyze these shlokas from which shloka with devotion arjuna started from shloka number 36 actually not 30 uh, 35 36 to 45 all are different aspects of the ishvara tattvam so some of them will be very elementary you will be able to understand for some you need background of vedanta shastras to understand so here in this shloka number 39 he is saying that hey bhagwan in a way 
you yourself or were you so at one point in time he said that you are the god of all the gods the lord of all the gods now you yourself so how how does this happen initially we think i am the knower that means what my mind is knowing and before that you say my eyes are seeing a form and color then next stage you understand that your mind actually is the cognitive principle which is able to cognize the form and color then when you go further you will understand the mind is able to cognize only because of consciousness so we called what the consciousness ultimate knower that's why bhagavan was called as vetta in the previous shloka can you underline the word asi vetta see everything is connected so though the other entities are cognizing the ultimate knower ultimate cognizing principle is bhagavan right i will understand this that's what he chant श्रोत्रस्य श्रोत्रम मनसो मनो यद्वाचो हवाचम तव प्राणस्य प्राणः वेरी नाइस उपनिषद के नो उपनिषद ओ एक्चुअली द उपनिषद सिल बिगिंस बाय अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अ डिसिपल हाउ आर ऑल द फंक्शंस हैपनिंग विद द फिजिकल बॉडी वी डोंट इवन थिंक राइट सम वेरी इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट्स गो टू अ गुरु and ask the question kene shitam paditam preshitam manaha how do all the functions of the different sense organs in the mind work how does prana work kena prana pratama praiti yuktaha kene shitam vachami mam vadanti how do, how are you able to speak we don't even ask a question take it for what granted so the guru says shrotrasya shrotram manaso mano the ultimate principle driving all the actions all the cognition is consciousness so the ultimate knower is who bhagavan similarly since bhagavan is the creator of all the gods in a way see it is an epithet it is not directly you cannot say that the supreme itself is who you but since how you cannot exist without the supreme vayu bhagavan so here arjuna is saying you are vayu you are agni you are yama you know saying that all these people are reporting to you all these people were created by you what is the difference can you see the difference so in a way you say that bhagavan is creating entities is one aspect that means what the power behind the creation here the existence of vayu itself is impossible without bhagavan so you are vayu you are yama you are agni you are aruna varuna you are the moon and you are also prajapati so you are everything so when you have this devotion filled mind and you see everything as bhagavan this is a very important shloka what is Vishwarupa, Vishwarupa is everything existing in Bhagavan, and beyond that, everything is Bhagavan. Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. So he says that you are all the gods, and also what? Suddenly he remembers great grandfather. So, so why he found that the father of everybody is Brahma Ji? first your father then brahma ji then great grandfather suddenly he remembers great grandfather you know arjuna's mind is totally in a different state this you are the great grandfather and he says thousand salutations to you thousand namaskarams to you so when you are uh, want to express the intent of your devotion you express it in huge numbers thousands ten thousands so much you say no sometimes you to say How much do I like you? So much, thousand times, ten thousand times. You know, like that. Arjuna is saying thousand fold namaskaram salutations to you. And again, he is saying any amount of salutation namaskaram to Bhagwan is not enough. Again and again, bhuya ha, bhuya ha. My salutations to you. And so understand that everything happens both from a relative standpoint. 
in relative reality is bhagwan there or not you have to think you are not thinking in relative reality bhagwan is there as what as absolute matter principle which has modified into either different entities physical objects or the mind and thought waves please understand the mind the thought waves even the prana are all matter principle very difficult to understand people study vedanta finally think that life principle is consciousness ha huh? life principle and consciousness are two distinctly different entities so <clears throat> the absolute principle is your consciousness and so which is pervading everything because of which everything exists so it is right for arjuna to say that bhagwan himself himself herself whatever you can say brahman itself is vayu yama agni varuna ah uh, shashankah moon prajapati and the great grandfather that means what what is great grandfather father of grandfather <laughs> okay now let us see the when you do the padavi bhaga anvaya you will be able to understand much better vayu who so each one is a different god and each one is a different name okay vayuhu yamaha agnihi varunaha shashankaha prajapatihi tvam no can you all underline the word tvam do you find the word tvam so how should you read this shloka now tvam vayuhu tvam yamaha tvam agnihi tvam varunaha tvam shashankaha tvam prajapatihi so tvam and now tvam prapitamaha so at least three words you write down pita pitamaha prapitamaha so pitr pita prapitamaha ha 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 so we do together okay so prapitamaha pita means what father pitamaha means what anybody who is pitamaha grandfather appa uh, ha uh, then prapitamaha ha learn learn to chant the word prapitamaha ha slightly difficult to begin with so chant ha uh, so when the next time you call your grandfather so saying in english hey grandpa what can say hey prapitamaha ha very nice will be he will surprise what is this calling somebody else similarly mata mata maha matu pita maha so see sanskrit is a very very clear language you can identify whether the grandfather is your father's father or your what mother's father hmm so prapita maha so pita maha is grandfather pita maha is great grandfather okay now <coughs> next namaha namaha two times namo namaha some people have this habit of saying namo namaha it is wrong so i want to correct all this there is no word called namo namaha it is namo namaha don't make it complicated so similarly you know people when they chant kaye navacha manasendriye irva buddhya atmana va prakate swabhavate श्लोका Don't make mistakes in chanting the original sloka. Okay, now namaha namaha namo namaha. Clear? Namo namaha is fine. Don't say namo namaha. Namo namaha no is not there. Namaha namaha te astu 
ಸಹಸ್ರ ಕೃತ್ವ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಕೃತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪುನಃ ಚ ಭೂಯ ಅಪಿ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ತೇ ಅವನ ಡೇಸ್ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ಅವನ ಡೇಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಾ ನಾವು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಅನ್ಮಯ ನಮ್ಮಡಿಯ ಮಾತು ಪ್ರಪಿತಾಮಹ ಮಾತು ಪಿತಾಮಹ ಮಾತು ಪ್ರಪಿತಾಮಹ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾತು ಪ್ರಪಿತಾಮಹ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಆಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಪಿತಾ ಪಿತಾಮಹ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಮಾತಾಮಹ ಮಾತು ಪಿತಾಮಹ ಮಾತು ಪ್ರಪಿತಾಮಹ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ನಾವು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಅನ್ಮಯ ತ್ವಂ ವಾಯು ವಾಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಆಡಿಂಗ್ ತ್ವಂ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ತ್ವಂ ಯಮಃ ತ್ವಂ ಅಗ್ನಿ ತ್ವಂ ವರುಣ ತ್ವಂ ಶಶಾಂಕ ತ್ವಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಚ ತ್ವಂ ಪ್ರಪಿತಾಮಹ ದೆನ್ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಕೃತ್ವ ಓ ಸಹಸ್ರ ಕೃತ್ವ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ಅಸ್ತು ತೇ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ತೇ ಸಿ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ಅಸ್ತು ತೇ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ತೇ ಪುನಃ ಚ ಭೂಯ ಅಪಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅನ್ವಯ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದರ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ತ್ವಂ ವಾಯು ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಯು ಭಗವಾನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ದೆನ್ ತ್ವಂ ಯಮಃ ಸೊ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಯಮಾ ಯು ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಯಮ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಯಮಃ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯಮ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಸೊ ಅಗ್ನ ವಿಷ್ಣು ದಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಚಮಕಂ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ವರುಣ ವರುಣ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೊ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ವರುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಯೋಗ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಯುವನ್ ನೋ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಚಾಂಟೆಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಯೋಗ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಇಸ್ ಬಾರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವರುಣ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ತ್ವಂ ಶಶಾಂಕ ಶಶಾಂಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೂನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶಶ ಅಂಕ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಮೂನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಕೆನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ರ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಶಶ ಅಂಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಮೂನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಶಶಾಂಕ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಮೂನ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ತ್ವಂ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ದೆನ್ also what cha prapitamaha ha father of the grandfather sometimes you don't even realize there is some kind some person called grandfather you are not we are so busy with <laughs> like so many things and there was a father for the grandfather bhagavad gita is reminding you so great grandfather so then who is grandfather grandfather here is brahma ji write down in this shloka grandfather is brahma ji that's also bhagwan great grandfather that means father of brahma ji is bhagwan himself after that who is the father of bhagwan the supreme nobody costless cause understand that so great grandfather prapita mahaha and the great grandfather sahasra kritva so 
thousand fold sahasra krithu means thousand times thousand fold namaha namaha sometimes instead of saying namaha 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 ha huh? say sahasra krithvaha namaha namaha thousand fold sal salutations salutations astu te astu te means be to you so let the thousand fold means what that is the way of saying in sanskrit thousand fold salutations be to you namaha namaha again salutations be to te to you so he is not completely satisfied with saying only once but many times he is saying salutation thousand fold salutation again and again salutations namaha namaha I, i told you about the greatness of namaskara namaskara mahima mahapri was talked about namaskara mahima in great detail study through the daivatin kural voice of god that reference also you know, guru arpan sir has given last time so understand what is namaskara mean so thousand fold salutations many times salutations to you and as if it's not enough punaha cha bhuyaha api in bracket namaha namaha again and again and again and again i am doing salutations to you so in this shloka arjuna is expressing his supreme devotion first by saying that you yourself are all the divine entities because when he sees all the different gods his thought is they wouldn't exist without the supreme bhagwan so you are <coughs> that supreme principle you are also all the different gods punaha punaha okay now continuing now he is able to call out some of the different aspects of bhagwan which are the nature of brahma tattvam which requires some vedantic understanding shloka number 40 arjuna uvacha namah purastadatha prishthataste namostute sarvataye va sarva ananta viryamita vikramastvam ोषि तथोषि सर्व अर्जुन उवाच नम पुस्ता तथ पृष्ट सर्वे नमोस्तु ते सर्वत एव सर्व अनंत वीरियामित विक्रमस्व अर्जुन उवाच नम पुस्तादथ पृष्ठतस्थे नमोस्तु ते सर्वत सर्व अनंत वीरियामित विक्रमस्व सोषि तथोषि सर्व मीन्स अगेन एंड अगेन भूय भूय ऑलसो मीन्स अगेन एंड अगेन बट भूय भूय इज ऑलवेज कनेक्टेड विथ नम दट इज ओनली डिफरेंस पुनः इज अ जेनरिक टर्म भूय इज ऑलसो मीन्स अगेन ओनली ओके भूय भूय मीन्स अगेन एंड अगेन बट नॉर्मली कनेक्ट विथ नमस्कार ऑल सिनोनिम्स now <clears throat> here he is now able to point out other aspect of supreme reality now he is saying that you are everywhere that means the only we keep on saying the only reality all around is supreme so salutations to you and my namaskarams to you in front then my namaskarams to you from the behind also because bhagwan is there all around okay then he is now saying finally how many directions can i go so in the front back right left all the eight directions also cannot cover everything namaskarams to you all around so you have this practice right 
of going round Bhagavan in a temple. Yes or no? It's called Pradakshinam. Mahapira has talked about Pradakshinam also. Anybody can find out the reference, please find out. So, Pradakshinam. Actually, normally, a temple will be facing the east, especially Shiva temple. And you start going towards, that means what? East, when you to the right of east is south. When you start doing your Pradakshinam, you are seeking the south first. That's how you go around. Don't go on the other side. Always should go only clockwise. Well, so, Praveshena Dakshinam Pradakshinam. That's why you are, what you are doing? Going around because Bhagavan, you are now the Vishwarupa, Ishwara, that particular devotion you are showing by going round and round. Many people don't know why you are going round and round. Keep you on round and round and round and round. Huh? Chitta villade gudiya sutti dode phalavenu ettu gana vanu huttuta nitya dali sutti bandante sarvajya. What happens without any aim? Simply going round and round. Remember that we are recognizing Bhagavan everywhere around. That is the principle began doing Pradakshinam. You understood? Pradakshinam. Some people do what? Pradakshinam namaskaram once. Some people do Pada Pradakshinam. Keep one step namaskaram. Right? Like that they keep on doing. You have seen? Vishesha Prarthana they do. Right? Going round and round. So, when you study Shastras, my Swamiji used to say, unless you study Shastras, that to Vedanta Shastras, from a traditional teacher, many of the practices that you are doing, you will not understand what you are doing. So, what happens? Over a period of time, when the relevance is not known, when the meaning is not known, importance is not known, you automatically drop. Correct? If you don't know why it is important, why it is required, what you will do? What is the use? You ask your father. Father does not know. Pita does not know. Pita Maha does not know. Prapita Maha does not know. So what happens? So you drop. That is why study Vedanta Shastras. In one class, I cannot say everything. Whenever there is an occasion, I will explain. Everything, right from Vibhuti, doing all the religious activities, Vachamanam, everything has got a deep meaning, deep significance. Do it with faith. If you are blessed in this life, you will get to know the meaning through some traditional teacher. Otherwise, keep on doing. That's why what you decided with grace of Priva, we will start the Sandhya Vandanam meaning sessions. Sandhya Vandanam people do. Without knowing why we are doing, what we are doing, that we are chanting so many things. There are two aspects when you are doing Sandhya Vandanam. One is the individual meaning for the mantras and all the other shlokas. Another is why are we doing that at that particular stage? There are multiple stages in Sandhya Vandanam. Why you are doing? All that you understand. If you understand what happens, your mind becomes fortified. So here he is saying, salutations to you all around. Now, where is Bhagavan? See, in the, in the temple, you have got the murti in the center. They have put some structure around, right? And then can go round and round. Now, which is the center of Bhagavan in Vishwarupa Darshana? You tell me. Anybody? You should think. I mean, Vedanta is the thinking. Not simply Makya Maki reading something going away. Huh? In fact, Arjuna pointed out two times in two different shlokas. I am not able to understand your beginning, your middle, or the end. Yes or no? Madhagar, just lokas. So, what he has to do, wherever he is, he is saying, mentally he is saying, salutations to you all around, again and again. Means what? You are everywhere. So, that's why he, what happens when you are doing namaskaram, sometimes there is a God on the other side, what you will do? My leg is facing Bhagavan. What should I do? Somewhere your leg will face. No, when you do namaskaram. <laughs> so, Bhagavan is everywhere. So, he's saying that salutation to you all around. And then, now comes some Vedantic terms. You are of limitless power. Your power is limitless. Told you, Tad Brahma Sarvagnyaha Sarva Shaktihi All-knowing principle Sarvagnyaha Sarva Shaktihi so, all power, eternal power, limitless power. And what? Since he needs courage. Saying, you are a person supreme with infinite courage. 
should arjuna give certificate to bhagwan you got infinite courage see what happens is whatever we want from bhagwan we say you are the epitome of that you got everything so give me say bhagwan you got all the power so give me vara varada ha huh? you got all the money so give me money so we attach bhagwan with whatever we need in limitless quantity why because like us millions are asking billions are asking we have got some doubt if he gives to me how will he gives out somebody how will i get so endless power endless money endless no peace eternal peace infinite peace that's what is bhagwan anyway here he wants courage so you are the supreme with infinite courage then he says what you pervade everything repeating same thing different way It means what tatham bhagwan told earlier maya tatham idam sarvam jagadam vyakta murti na sambher you heard no bhagwan is told that i pervade the entire universe as what not as rama murti krishna murti anumat murti as avyakta murti avyakta murti means what that which is not physically manifested in unmanifest form i pervade everything so arjuna is repeating tam pervade everything so here is justifying since you pervade everything you are everything see since you pervade everything you are everything that is the derived form of bhagwan being everything now when you do pada vibhaga anme i will understand in greater detail so here namaha the word nama will come again and again because what arjuna state of mind is what that of devotion namaha puraha so namaha puraha or purastat you can say purastat so namaha purastat atha prishthataha so namaha purastat atha prishthataha te namaha as tu te sarvataha sarva sarva sarvataha eva sarva clear first line so the second line the complete word is one compound word ananta viryamita vikramaha ananta so if you break the word ananta virya amita vikramaha so i told you no there are three principal gods we have rama krishna shiva so some people keep the name as sivarama krishnan so what happens all three gods are there in that person's name sivarama krishnan like that ananta virya amita ananta virya amita vikramaha tvam sarvam samapnoshi one word samapnoshi tataha asi sarvaha very important tataha asi sarvaha now look at the <coughs> individual meaning clear huh? now the anmaya namaha purastat so purastat purastat means in front namaha purastat atha where is atha after purastat atha okay te prishtataha then namaha astu te sarvataha eva so there are three different sections namaha purastat atha means and te of course to you prishtataha second then namaha astu te sarvataha eva clear hmm? then again sarva this is he sarva so the last word in the first line second padam sarva is the name of bhagwan sambodhana bhakti write down he sarva clear he sarva <clears throat> sarva then tvam ananta virya mita vikramaha 
So when you are breaking the word, I'll give you from no Shankara Bhashma. Anandascha Viryascha Amita Vikramascha. Not Mita Vikramaha. Mitam means what? Limited. Amitam means what? There is no limit. Ha, unlimited. Correct. So Amita Vikram. So Ananta Virya Amita Vikramaha. Samapno Shi. So Madhyam Purusha Ekavutana. Uh, Samapno Shi. Sarvam. Tataha Asi. Sarvaha. So he is now just paying Tataha means therefore. Now look at the meaning. Clear? Anvaya is clear now? Hmm? Okay. Now. Look at the meaning. Namaha Purasta. Salutations to you in front. That means what? Here he, Arjuna is imagining Bhagavan in front of him. Actually, Bhagavan is everywhere, right? But for a moment he has to imagine. Then only the Namaskaram will come. So, like normally we face east and do Namaskaram or face north and do Namaskaram. Normally don't do Namaskaram facing south. South is meant for praying to only Yama. Yama yadharma rajaya mritya vechantaka yacha vaivasvataya kalaya sarva bhutakshaya yacha That is for Yama. So, Namaskaram normally east or northwest is very rare. Say keep that. So, here he may be imagining that he is facing east and saying salutation to you in front. Atha. Purastat means in front. Then Atha means here and. Atha and. Te. So, Namaha Te. Add, add Namaha here. Namaha Te. Actually, the word Namaste itself means what? Namaha Te. Te Namaha. Salutations to you. When you say Namaste to somebody, what do you, what do you mean? Salutations to you. So, Te Namaha. Bracket. Salutation to you. Where Prishtataha. Prishtataha means as if he is going round and from the other side he is doing namaskaram again to Bhagavan. So, Prishtataha. To you behind also. Then, Namaha Astute. Once again, namaskarams be to you. Salutations be to you. Where now? He then thought, how many places can I do namaskaram? Sarvataha eva, all around. Sarvataha eva, all around. Sarvataha all around. Eva. Verily all around. To whom? Why? Because Bhagavan is called as Sarva. He Sarva. So he is called as He Sarva. He Sarva. So Namaha Purastat. Namaha Te Prishtataha. Namaha Te Astu Sarvataha Eva. He Sarva. This is the way he is now expressing his devotion. So, very wonderful, very nice. Then, now, he is saying now, Thvam, you are what? Ananta Virya Mita Vikramaha. So, you are that supreme principle. Ananta means what? Limitless, endless power. Means what? There is no end to Bhagavan's power. Sarvagnyaha, Sarva Shakti, I told you. Because everything happens effortlessly. So, for us to create one small thing, one car, whatever, so much effort is required. How much effort Bhagavan requires to create the universe? Yatova, Ima, Nibhuta, Nijayante, from the Supreme, everything is created. So much effort Bhagavan requires. Why? Why Bhagavan does everything effortlessly? Because all... Turn camera, many of you not camera on. All entities are actually in reality has no existence. They are Maya, right? So, Bhagavan is able to create everything effortlessly. So, here he is saying you are of limitless power and Amita Vikramaha. So, here you can call as infinite or Unlimited, infinite capability, infinite what? Capability to execute, courage. Vikramaha means what? Courage, capability. 
तो भगवान के नॉट ओनली क्रिएट ऑल्सो एग्जीक्यूट एवरीथिंग सृष्टि स्थिति लयम फॉर द एंटायर यूनिवर्स सो अनंत वीर्यामित विक्रम टाइ प्रैक्टिस वर्ड देन समाप्नोशी सम्यक आपनोशी मींस व्हाट यू परवेड तो समाप्नोशी सर्वम एवरीथिंग यू परवेड एवरीथिंग ततम दैट्स व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज समाप्नोशी सर्वम Tataha asi. Now a very important underlined word. Tataha asi. Therefore and hence you are sarvaha. Everything. How is Bhagwan? Everything. Because Bhagwan pervades everything. Bhagwan is the existence principle in everything. So when you look at anything, look at a book or a pen or a pencil. Is there Bhagwan in that? You don't need to be right. Bhagwan is present as existence principle. Tat. That tat is what becomes tatam. Okay. That sat principle tat becomes tatam. Okay. Tataha asi. Therefore, you are sarvaha. You are everything. So, if somebody asks, where is God? What should you say? Hmm. And where is he not? Then, how many gods are there? What you should say? Don't say there is one God. What you should say? There is only God. Everything is Bhagwan because of Tatham. Samap no she because of that you are everything. Now, now, after saying all this to Bhagwan, Arjuna is starting to think. Now only his mind is starting to think. The supreme principle who actually is my friend right krishna parmatma is a friend of arjuna right so when you are a friend what happens you always give a lot of respect you talk very respectfully is it mr so and so ha huh? salutations to you thousand salutations then you will start talking will you do that to all your friends then no longer a friend right because very distant you remember all the exchanges that he had with krishna as a friend So, with friend, what you do? You fight, you scold, you tease, you do everything or not? Same as happened. It's not not everything happened. He remembers all that and says, "Oh, oh my God, what all mistakes I have done? Supreme principle, I have no use all different kind of no, not not that respectful words." And he is now what saying that I have not addressed you properly many times, and. How is going to say this? We will take it up in twelve hours from now. Om Shanti 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 Hi. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidham Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namada Ya Pur Nameva Bhishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi. Hari Om Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Tatsad. कृष्ण 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 आई विल टेक अप शांकर भाष्यम ऑफ श्लोका फोर्टी द नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड देन विल स्टार्ट श्लोका नंबर फोर्टी वन फोर्टी शांकर भाष्यम इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग शुभमस्तु समस्त सन्मंगला हरिओं नारायण नारायण